Analysis of Hydrogen Peroxide by Redox Titration. So here are the materials that you will need. So I'm going to begin by determining the mass of an empty, clean Erlenmeyer flask. So I'm going to record this mass. And to this flask, I'm going to start by adding uh, a one milliliter sample of this drugstore hydrogen peroxide. So this should be 3% hydrogen peroxide, but hydrogen peroxide will break down over time and it can actually be less than that whenever you open up the bottle. So I'm using a pipette and a pipette pump to measure out one milliliter of this uh, hydrogen peroxide solution into my Erlenmeyer flask. So now I'm going to need to remass the flask here. We're going to assume that this solution has the same density of water. So we can just say that one milliliter equals one gram, but we want to be precise in our measurement here of how much we're starting with. So I'm going to go ahead and add to this some distilled water and it doesn't matter how much, um, the amount of hydrogen peroxide that's in there is still the same. It's just in a larger volume. This is just so whenever we stir this, it will be well mixed. Um, and we know that our titration will be successful because we'll be able to see uh, what's happening in the flask. So the next thing that we're going to add, we need to occur this reaction in acidic solution. So I'm going to use some three molar sulfuric acid going to measure that out using a plastic pipette into my graduated cylinder. So I'm going to do five milliliters because I added about a milliliter of hydrogen peroxide. And the exact amount of this uh, doesn't really matter either. We just want to ensure that this is an acidic environment so that um, Whenever we titrate our permanganate ions, we end up getting that light pink uh, solution whenever their permanganate is in excess. So we're going to just rinse down the sides, make sure everything is in the reaction mixture and give it a little swirl. Add a stir bar and place this underneath our burette on a stir plate. And these are nice because they have this little light that you can turn on so it's really easy to see the solution. So I'm going to turn up the stir here. I want this to be well stirred, but I don't want for um, bits of liquid to be flying around on the sides of the beaker. If I have solution on the side of the beaker, then it's not available uh, in the reaction mixture to react. I'm going to start by measuring the volume on the uh, pipette or on the burette rather, the initial volume. And then I'm going to slowly add in this potassium permanganate solution. So as I'm adding that dark purple solution, we see that there are like these little moments where we see flashes of pink and then they disappear. Uh, so there's some more. So see how quickly they're disappearing? This is indicating to me that we're nowhere near our uh, equivalence point. So I'm going to start adding it in larger uh, aliquots so that my titration doesn't take forever. We are aiming for just the faintest pink. Uh, what's happening here is that as these um, permanganate ions are undergoing this redox reaction in the presence of the hydrogen peroxide, uh, we're seeing some bubbles form, some gases form, and the permanganate turns colorless. So when my solution is just the faintest pink, it means that uh, we've used up all of the hydrogen peroxide in the solution. So we see there's bubbles forming. And as I start to get closer to my equivalence point, uh, we see that pink purple color kind of sticking around for longer. So once you start to see that, that's a signal to slow down here. 
Now I already did a rough titration before I did this one, so I have some idea of what my volume is going to be. So I'm just quickly adding in solution here. So we want just the faintest pink and it should persist for about 30 seconds or a minute afterwards. So you can see I'm close, not quite there yet. And so really this is kind of the ideal color that we want to see. I took it a little bit too far, but in this video it looks a lot darker than it was in real life. So now that we've titrated to this light pink color, uh, what we want to do next is go ahead and read the final volume off of the burette. 